Righto guys, welcome back to The Hillman Show. You may know me as Mr. Pokemon. Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon, The Hillman Show doing Pokemon videos. We're gonna do something different. I've been wanting to, for a long time, do some retro video game videos. Uh, obviously I have a 64 which is plugged in. Finally got the old CRT TV. I have been planning for a while uh, to go down to like Savers and all the thrift shops and try and find some retro games for a couple of dollars. I've done it before years ago, it's good fun. And then we'll either get a collection or, you know, start off with 10 bucks, find some games, sell them to buy bigger and better games for a collection. That's my plan. Obviously lockdown here in Melbourne is changing that. We can't go to a store at all. So we're in a bit of strife, but the next best thing for us is Facebook Marketplace. Now I was on Facebook Marketplace last night. I've been looking here and there, PS2s, but last night, in front of my eyes, I saw a GameCube for $300 with eight games. I thought, that's not too bad. I'll offer $200 and bugger me dead. We have mutual friends and he accepted the offer. It wasn't until a bit later on when I was looking at the photos of the games and looked up some prices that I absolutely shit myself. I have just got one of the best deals, I believe, on retro gaming. So I said, mate, can I send you the money right now? Uh, I'll pick up tomorrow. He said, yep, done. That was yesterday, so we're gonna go pick it up now, and then uh, we're gonna see the games, if they're all in there with the books, if they it works, the GameCube works, we might have one of the biggest bargains ever right here. Hey, man, how are you? How are you going? Good, yourself? Yeah, not bad. That's all right. Here you are. Right. Legend, man. All good, I trust you. Sweet, yeah, Chamber. if you have any issues, just let me know, because I haven't turned it on. That's nah, right. But... Well, good. Now, nah, appreciate that, mate. Enjoy. Too easy. Thanks, mate. You have a good day. All right, guys. We've just got back in the car, and as you would have heard in that awesome interaction, he said he hasn't tested it. So, um, look, games in there. Spyro. What, mate? Disc booklet. Unreal. What else we got? Mario. Super Mario Sunshine. This is like an expensive game. Disc booklet. Holy crap. All right. Well, we're we're gonna go home. Uh, we're going to have a look through the game, see, uh, price them all up and test the GameCube, see if it is working. This could be one of the biggest and best pickups ever. All right, let's go. Righto, guys, we are back. Um, yeah, just got home. Going to check out this bag of goodies here. I believe I may have just got one of the biggest retro gaming hauls of all time because I think there are some expensive games in here. And if the console works, bargain. So let's, let's go and have a look. Need I really say any more, but... Um, first off, we have Spyro's Hero's Tale. Um, disc in booklet. Ooh, Crash Bandicoot in the back. Uh, this is like Spyro, maybe like 40 bucks. It's like a $40 game. So already I spent 200 bucks. And that's 40 right there. Uh, next off, we have Sonic Gems. As the disc doesn't have the booklet, okay. Um, without the booklet, I'm not too sure. I'll just say like 50 or 60. I really don't know about that game, to be honest. Still, we'll say we're like $100 in. Crash Bandicoot Wrath of the Cortex. $40 pre-owned back in the day. Uh, no booklet. So price-wise, without a book, I would say 30, I'm not too sure. Taz, Tazzy Devil. Fortune. 50% off mark price, so he's got it for 10 bucks. Once again, no booklet, because it was pre-owned, I guess, maybe. It's like a $15 game or something. Okay, Super Mario Sunshine, which is now he been re-released. Wow, booklets in, disc, has been re-released on the Switch. Um, as the 35th anniversary. I think that's about $80 to $100 game right there. So that is big bucks back. Wow, okay, Mario Kart. Let's go! Double. Oh, far out. Okay. 
booklets in there. Um, let's just hope. Let's just hope the um, the disc is in the GameCube because that is one game I really wanted, and I'll be quite upset if it's not there. Damn it, Mario Party Five. It's $50 as a brand new from EB Games. Uh, booklet disc. It's a thick booklet. Oh, whoa, look at that. That is a that is a receipt from 23rd of September 2005. And it was $40 brand new. Unbelievable. This is now like an $80 to $100 game as well. Could have been like 100 bucks with everything in there. Jesus. Got a couple more, got another Spyro game, into the... Dragon, booklet and... A disc, so I got $40 maybe. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, wow. that has booklet and disc that's like a hundred dollars um, just get a new case on that maybe it'll look fresh bloody hell obviously got an Australian plug so that's good GameCube power adapter which no one really cares about and obviously the AV cables and stuff now this is a genuine GameCube controller apparently I've been looking at the GameCube for ages Buttons work, it's just a bit dirty. Beautiful. Couple of scuffs on there, but that's um that's fine. Alright. Here it is. Oh okay, we got two memory cards with it. Which I did notice on the back of some of these games he wrote like in some of them he wrote A and B, so I'm assuming that's where his what memory card went with what game. Now I don't know much about this, but I saw this online yesterday, I think. It's got a digital port, which is really good, apparently. It means it's a rare console, but we're gonna crack it open and see if Mario Kart is in there, please. Yes, you absolute beast yes okay so that's that's value holy shit so everything is there guys right guys as you see all those games just in like they blow my mind i am not like i'm not going to sell them to make money obviously i'll keep the main ones the ones i really want to play there will be a couple like maybe the spyro one and the sonic one i might sell because then i'll use that money to buy more retro stuff or games i really want for the GameCube, like uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, which I don't think I've ever actually played that, which will be cool. So that at this stage is my goal, and then eventually when we can go to thrift shops, I'll find stuff, even if it's worth a little bit of money, to sell to fund more stuff for the collection, which is cool. We're not out here to make money, but we want to fund stuff for a collection. So we might do a few retro video games. I think it's something cool, something different, because with Pokemon, as you can tell, it's getting crazy expensive. My videos, I haven't been doing as many videos because here in Australia, stock is delayed, it's expensive now, and it's the fun is slowly going. We're still there, still collecting differently. I'm just not opening a lot of stuff. Anyway, guys, next thing to do is plug it in to see if it works, see if we picked up an absolute bargain. Oh, well, we have liftoff, she works. You bastard! Yes! Bloody hell. Uh, as you can see there, I just dominated the racetrack. This is unbelievable. I'm going to plug it into my AV TV now, just to see. Obviously, it's going to be better quality on the HD TV, but I want that retro feel. We are going to plug it into there just to see how it goes. All right, I'm going to see if this works, because I have a, a splitter for this one, because... This TV does not have AV inputs. 
So we should plug, essentially plug the aerial, get that in into here. We should get some type of signal plus power. And would you bloody look at that? We'll try some Mario Party 5. I never had a GameCube growing up. We had the 64. One of my best mates had a GameCube. But I'm going to say this. It looks better on this TV. What can I say about that video, guys? That is unbelievable. That these items was about $600, $700 of value. I paid $200. Consoles are $200. We are happy with today's win. That is retro gaming win. A bit of a retro segment. So I'll, I'll do a few retro videos. If you do like this type of video, leave a comment, like it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we're almost at a thousand subs, guys. Come on, we're doing some new stuff, cool stuff. Not just like retro games, there is some cool retro Pokemon games I'll do videos on. As well as Pokemon Stadium, on GameCube there's Pokemon Coliseum, which is very expensive, and Pokemon XD, which is like a $500 game. It is nuts. Anyway guys, take it easy, and if it's easy, take it on.